Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining us. We got a bit of a wet one coming at you. It's the Tampa Bay Rays taking on the Minnesota Twins. And now, first pitch your coming your way next. 2024 Minnesota Twins. Just about set to go. And towing the slab here, Bailey Ober. Well, he's been a real quality starter for his club. And coming into this one, what stands out for me is that right-handed hitters have really struggled batting below 200 on the year. It seems that they have a hard time picking up his release point and tracking the ball into the zone. So we'll see how right-handers do against him in this one. All right, ready to go here. And stepping in for the Rays, Richie Palacios. First pitch, 640. The pitch. And a foul ball, he stays alive. And he deals. And one and two. Bounce to the right side. Kirilov takes it himself. One up, one down. All right, let's take a look at the Rays lineup. Needless to say, this is an aggressive lineup. They've drawn fewer walks than any other team in the league. I didn't walk very much, but I'll tell you what, it drives me a little crazy to see it. I mean, we're in this modern era of baseball, and we know how important walks are. You get runners on base, they end up leading the runs, but this whole lineup just seems to be made up of players who come to the dish, they don't have a plan, they come unglued right away. You've got to make that pitcher work a little bit more. It's not like you're going to get a steady diet of meatballs all game long. Hacktastic might be the way to describe it. Very dominant with that fastball inside. Hitter's going to be conscious of that. Now you have the outer half of the plate to work with out there on the mound. Fouls it off, still one and two. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. The one-two. Out of line, out towards center. And yeah, there's two away. Adam Kerr, the designated hitter. Yandy Diaz Yandy. digs in now. Nobody on his team has been better at driving in runs this season, Singy. Outside oh, no. low. Ball one. You have to be creative oh, no. pitching against bad ball hitters. You got to add some velocity, subtract at times. Just avoiding the heart of the plate isn't always going to be enough. Ball. Guys like this can hurt you with pitches you Two wouldn't ball. expect him to swing no at. Two out, space is empty. He hasn't wanted to challenge him. Both of those pitches off the plate away. Don't expect anything down the heart of the plate. You may just have to be patient and take your walk here. And the righty deals. That one ripped left field. And it's a one hopper off the wall. Should be extra bases. And that's a two out double. A little more back spin on that instead of the top spin. And he's jogging around the bases rather than pulling up at second. So two down. Isaac Paredes now. Fastball for a strike. Well, a really good chance right here to pick up a run in the top of the first after what seemed to be a, a real quiet start to the inning. And that one is lifted in the air. In position. Brings it in. And that is that. One left for Tampa. The Twins coming up. No score. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back in Minnesota, today's starting pitcher, Aaron Savali. 
How about a report on him, Chris? Yeah, I want to see how he handles left-handed hitters in this lineup today because coming in, lefties are batting over 300 on the year against him. So he's going to have to figure something out to get inside, keep them from getting their arms extended, and then once conscious of the inside pitch, be able to go with something away and finish them off. Righty delivers. Up the middle, Caballero sends it to first. One up, one down. And now we take a peek at the Twins lineup. And a big factor for them in recent games, Ryan Jeffers. And Boog, he's a guy who loves coming up with the chance to drive in his teammates. It's like he finds another level of focus, batting over 300 with runners in scoring position this season. And you know what? Because of that, I wonder if the guys in front of him will see some better pitches to hit because you don't want to put any free base runners on with him looming in the on-deck circle. Ball Alex Kirilov in now, takes ball one off the plate. Next offering is in for a strike. That's oh, a real nice cutter right there. I mean, this guy can struggle with the inside pitch at times, so I'd say that's pretty effective if you can continue to command it on that side of the plate. Lau sends it to first. Here tonight, an efficient start to the home first. Two away. Two outs, base is empty. Here's the third baseman, Royce Lewis. He's been on fire at the dish lately, hitting better than 350 this month. That's in there, and that is strike one. And that one is inside. The why to kick the pitch. That's a ball. That one fouled off. And that's down it away. Full count. Oh. Got him swinging. Twins retired in short order. We played an inning. No score. Get target field second inning set to go now it's the second baseman Brandon Lau the pitch Lau a former all-star hitting fifth in today's lineup and he's driven in double digit runs over his last 10 games righty to the plate that one ripped and that should be extra bases. Around first and hustling for second. And he's got a leadoff double. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Just a very nice approach and swing right there to use the big part of the field. Everything was on time. He stayed balanced through the entire swing and just launched that one into center. Runner in scoring position now and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. Next to hit, Jose Siri. That's a strike. 0-1. The Rays with a chance to score first here in game one of this three-game set. Ball Next one. pitch is outside. One ball, two strikes. And a rope into center field, base hit. Coming home. He will score, and they take the lead. one nothing. Well done. Drives in the run. Other than ripping one into the gap or blasting one over the wall, there aren't a whole lot of hits that are more satisfying than a nice line drive in the center field. So that definitely felt good. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Jose Caballero stands in no now ball. and watches strike. strike one. The 0 1. There's a swing and a drive. That's going back. Back some more. Reaching for it. Makes the catch. Throw and it gets away.
You know it's a good play when we break out StatCast for you folks. He took a great route and found himself in position to make a nice running catch. Just excellent work. Yeah, he really showed off his wheels on that play, and I know that always gets you excited, Singy. Exactly 100 feet for that out. One run across in the frame so far here at the top of the second. Swings through that one for strike two. One, two. That's towards center. Settles under this one. Pulls it in for the out. Randy or Rosarena next to hit for the Rays. Randy or Rosarena. Ober picks over. Back in there standing. Inside corner, and that's called a strike. Well, if he's going to steal second, you want him to go early in the count. That way he's not a distraction to the hitter at the plate. Go ahead and get it out of the way so the hitter can focus on the pitch. Here's the 0-2. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A-B going. Off the mark there, and it's one and two. The guy at the plate could recognize slider out of the hand. Didn't stay in the tunnel very long in terms of depth and perception. He knew right away it was an off-speed pitch. Julian slings to first, out. third out. So one run in the inning on this base hit. It's now one nothing. Major League Baseball is on the show. Bottom half of inning number two, and now for the Twins, Edouard Julien. The right-hander back to work. Fastball for a strike, and it's 0-1. Foul ball there. The wind of the pitch. And now one and two. One ball, two strikes. Down the line. And he makes the catch. One away. Batting fifth. Not shortstop. And here comes Carlos Correa. Correa. Correa, the former first overall pick from Puerto Rico back in 2012. And he blossomed into the American League Rookie of the Year in 2015. Hit on the ground to the right side. And he takes it himself out. for the out. Good arm side run to that same side hitter right there. Very difficult to put that ball in the air or get through it. Just pours in on the hands. Ryan Jeffers at the plate. No. And the first pitch misses for ball one. One ball, no strike. And a breaking ball drops in for a strike. The Twins trailing by a run. Bottom half of inning number two. Ball, no. Close one doesn't get the call. And a count two and one. And a foul ball. Oh, and now it's filled up. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. He goes down looking. Nothing doing here for the Twins. They're down 1 0. 
top half of the third inning. And now the right fielder, Richie Palacios. And here it comes. That clips the inside corner for a strike. Oh one. Missed with a changeup. And one and one. The wind of the pitch. Ball two. Definitely a Two swing ball. and miss slider One down strike. and in. He finished that really well. Just couldn't get him to offer at it. The pitch. On the ground the first. Can't glove it cleanly. Now he gets it to the pitcher covering the bag. He keeps his composure and they get the out. This is what it's all about on that right side of the diamond when you've got the first baseman involved and the pitcher as well. First baseman does a great job, knocks the ball down, gets away from him a little bit, doesn't panic. The pitcher's exactly where he's supposed to be. Nice feed and a nice play for the out. Ramirez in the box now. No balls and a strike. Here's a strike. Oh, this guy's so comfortable hitting with two strikes. Even a good pitch early in the at-bat. If he's not ready to pull the trigger, he's not worried if he gets to an 0-2 count. This one smoked out to left. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there are two outs. The batter, number two. Designated two hitter. outs, base is empty. Yandy. Now it's the Diaz. DH. Yandy Diaz doubled in his first AB. Outside, Just ball. missed. Bounce to the left side. Rays retired in order. Nothing doing for Tampa. They lead it 1 0. And welcome back to the ballpark. Set for the bottom of the third. And now for the Twins, Matt Walmer. Savali back to work. That pitch gets the corner. It's 0 1. Man, I mean, nice job just presenting it to be better than it actually was. And a base hit. So a man on base to start the inning. He was all over that one. Kind of a risky pitch coming inside with the breaking ball like that. You have to bury it. Otherwise, it's not too difficult to get the bat to it like he did that time. Max Kepler at the plate. And he takes a strike. Two strikes. May see some movement over there at first base. Trying to stay out of the double play right here. Hammer down the line. Base hit. Lead runner touches second. Headed for third. And it gets by him. Well, rounds third. Headed for the plate. He scores to tie it up. It's 1-1. One -one. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Runner in scoring position, no outs. And here's the rookie center fielder. That one misses, and that is ball one. No. Just missed. Puts a bunt down, right side. Ramirez flips it behind his back. Save! This is a big part of his skill set, and he puts himself into situations where he can rely on his speed to impact the ball game. And this is just another example of it, and we'll see what else he can do now that he's on first. Castro no, up to down. bat next, lays off for a ball. Well, he's just given up three straight hits, and now behind in this count to this hitter. Might be a good time for somebody to call a timeout. Maybe the pitching coach go out there and talk to him just a little bit. On the ground, two ball. Paredes fires over to first, but the go-ahead run comes in to score. Now back, first baseman. Here's Alex Kirilov. 
0 for 1 so far. Right through there for a strike. Swing and a ball lifted to center field. He's got it. And there's two down. Here's Royce Lewis. His first at bat was a strikeout. Sliced hard but foul. Runner at second, two down. And that one's a little bit low. One and one. There's the strike. Man on second, two down. Got him. They limit the damage here. They get two runs on three hits, no errors, and one left. On to inning number four. It's the Twins two, the Rays one. And we're back. Down the third baseman, Isaac Paredes. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. And there's the strike. Well, these Rays showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. He's only given up ah. one run, but the starter's pitch count is starting to get up there, and that might be the best news yet for this offense. Kicks and deals. To third. The throw to first. Ah. Lead off hitter retired in the fourth. You know, sometimes all it takes is getting to the next arm before an offense does any damage, and that might be the case today. Wow. Here's the second baseman, Brandon Lau. One for one with a double and a run score. That one's in there. Strike one. Ground ball to first, and he picks it up in foul territory. The 0 2. Chases the changeup in the dirt. And there's two gone following the strikeout. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher are on the same page right now. The center fielder, Jose Steele. So next to the plate for Tampa Bay, Jose Siri. That right. one finds the zone. 0-1. The Twins leading by a run. Top half of inning number four. That one out to right. And that is that. Back in Minnesota, John Chambi and Chris Singleton with you. And leading off the bottom of the fourth, Edouard Julien. Julien. The wind of the pitch. Just no. missed. It looks like the weather could actually play a factor in this one. It's coming down pretty good. Yeah, it is. And it's not too bad yet, but the field's not going to be able to hold off if the rain gets any worse than this. So keep an eye on the pitcher's mound as well and the rest of the infield okay. start to puddle up a little bit. Okay. Everything came together for him. Everything was on time and fluid in that swing. Got a pitch he could get the barrel on and lined it into center for the knock. Those always feel good. Now Correa up to hit. Dives for the bag. Got him. Double play. Man, those are tough ones all the way around. As a hitter, you feel you did everything right and kind of got robbed. As a runner, you're in a really tough position trying to read the ball and get back. And as the first baseman, it's a split-second reaction to catch the line drive as you're coming off the bag. But he did a great job of having the awareness to know he could get two outs, not just the one. The 0-2. Ball one there. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Back 
back in target field. And now the shortstop, Jose Caballero. And the right hander back to work. That right. one finds the zone. Strike one. Caballero goes five feet nine inches, 185 pounds, and he was born in Panama. Two. Got the back going too soon at strike two. Two, two strikes. And a swing and a miss at the slider in the dirt. Beats him for the first out, and that completes the strikeout. We'll take a look at the three-pitch sequence here. Pretty simple in terms of putting them away at the plate. Once you're ahead 0-2 as a pitcher, you can really expand the zone and see how aggressive that hitter is going to be trying to protect and battle. And right there, clearly he was in swing mode, but all you can do is hope to foul that off. Pinto, batting with one down, takes a strike. Fouled off. He was late. The Rays down by a run. And we're at the top of the fifth. Inside. Just off the inside edge. It's a good take. Ball. He delivers outside. Well, he might have to look for a different put away pitch right here, 2 2. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times in this at bat, so might have it timed up and ready for it. 2-2 two, two now. And ball. another ball. Full count. And the pitch. Battling here as he fouls it away. Ninth pitch of the at bat do next. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. And he'll be beating himself up on the way back to the dugout. Got a pitch to hit and just couldn't get to it. I think that slider really caught way more of the plate than it was supposed to. And the batter now, Randy Arozarena. Out to short. Fires to first on the run, Out. and that will end the inning. Rays held in check here. They're down two to one. Bottom of the inning, Leading and off. now for the, for the Twins, twins. Matt Walmer. The left fielder. The pitch. Matt. And he pumps it a strike. We haven't seen a break in the weather, and the umpires might be forced to make a decision soon. Yeah, I think so, Boog. I mean, everyone looking and wondering when they're going to stop play. It definitely feels close. That's ripped. Base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. I'd say a mistake pitch in an 0-2 count. Too good of a pitch to hit right there. You have to expand the zone. And keep that leadoff man off first base. Now batting Max Kepler. He doubled home a run in his first A.B. Clips the corner, and that's strike one. That one missed. Walmer aboard here at first with nobody out. In the air to left center. A Rosarena makes the grab on the run. Here's the center fielder. And that's in for a strike. Always tough to turn two on a speedster like this. It's even harder with him coming out of the left-handed batter's Ball, box. No. You really need something to hit hard on the ground that they can handle to turn two quickly. Right-hander kicks, deals. Fights that one away, still one and two. Man at first, one away. Bounced, and that got the pitcher. Safe at first, and now we'll check on the right-hander. Hope he's all right. Catcher coming out to check on him. It looked like it got him on his back leg. 
So you'll wonder if that might be a problem for him in terms of pushing off the rubber. Yeah, it's a great point, and we'll have to see how he looks. But to me, it appears he's moving pretty well. I think it's just going to sting for a while, but hopefully nothing more. This is Willie Castro. Just no, missed. He's looking for a ground ball Good to ball. get a double play no, and out of this jam. Next right. offering is in for a strike. High fly ball out to left field. A Rosarena should have this one. Squeezes it. Rounder tags it second. And he's up to third safely with two gone. Now batting. First baseman. Allen. And now here Kirilov. is Alex Kirilov. And that one fouled off. If he can get through this one, put up a zero, this will help in his outings to come. That's down and in. Back to the mound. He's got it. In plenty of time to first. What a play to end the inning. Twin strand a pair, but they still lead it two to one. And we're back. Now it's the right fielder, Richie Palacio. And a pitch. In there at the knees for a strike. Next offering is in for a strike. And a pitch. He fouls it off. We'll do it again. Kicks and fires. Just misses. And the count is one and two. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. And another ball. Two strikes. And a pitch. Hit weakly on the ground. The flip to the pitcher covering. Now one gone in the top of the sixth. Good fade and sinking action of that changeup. Got that hitter to roll over. Harold Ramirez at the dish. Pitch is in there. Going one. Well, he's looking great so far. It helps when over 80% of your first pitches are strikes. He might be able to go the distance if he keeps this off. Right through there for a strike. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Walmer calls it in for the out. Two away down. Now back, the designated hitter. Next Yandy. is the designated hitter, Yan. Diaz. Three ride. Nobody on his team is a better batting average than he does, Siggy. Well, as good as things can be, it can be a tough day at the office, even for the skippers. Seeing the offense just sputter, ah. not able to get anything going. No ball, two strikes. Ground ball, left side. Lewis throws Out. to first, and that is that. So they make short work of them there. Hard in the order, 3-4-5 coming up. It's the Twins 2, the Rays 1. Well, no surprise with this decision to delay the game. The rain is here, and it doesn't look like it's going away anytime soon, and we're going to have to sit tight, Chris. Yeah, Pogue, I don't see a break in the storm coming anytime soon, and I've got my 499 weather app, which is pretty trusty, and the radar says it's going to stay this way for at least another hour. So if that's the case, get ready for some new pitchers to take the mound when we get back. We welcome you back now, with good news. The, the tarp is off the Number field, 52. and it's done raining Zach. here at the ballpark, so Littell. we can get back to action. Zach Littell comes into the game after about an hour-long delay, and we're all ready to get it going again. Leading off. Three, well, four, win. five due up for the, the home team. Man. Royce Lewis getting ready to hit. Lewis. And first offering is fouled off. 
And the right-hander deals. And outside. that's outside. And the count even one and one. Well, these twins, simply put, are producing a lot of quality swings. They've hit seven line drives already, and even though some of them have been for outs, there's nothing wrong with delivering consistent hard contact. That's almost always going to lead to positive ah. results. Strike three called on a slider at the knees. No, they've had a great plan of attack for him tonight. I mean, finding now, all the holes in his swing three. and his approach, That's just far. frustrating for him up there. You strike out a guy three times in a game, I think that guy's got to go back and really study some video with his hitting coach, figure out how they're beating him, make this adjustment really quick, because word will get around the league in a hurry. High fly ball out into left center field. A Rosarena moving under it. He's there. He's got it. And there's two down. The batter number four. Shortstop. Here's Carlos Correa. Correa. The ball. shortstop takes the ball. 1 0. -oh. Outside low. And the count Here is one. 2 0. Oh. The pitch. That's that one misses. And now 3 0. Oh. -oh. Two down, nobody on. Here in the bottom of the sixth. And that's in for a strike. Swing and a miss. Three and two now. Wow, no fair right there. I mean, that slider didn't move to the very last moment. Incredibly difficult to pick that up. Just going to have to tip your cap on that pit. And that's the inning. Twins are set down one, two, three, as they're unable to add to their 2-1 lead. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound, Josh Stamont. Now He's pitching on two days rest. Number 33. Come on. Here's the third baseman, Isaac Paredes. The third baseman, Isaac Paredes. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. Minnesota's bullpen with some action. Griffin Jacks, the young right-hander, up and throwing. Topa also throwing. Fought off foul just missed if he's able to connect on that look out looking to get the tying run on base and a swing and a miss and that's the first out a big first out here in the seventh via the punch out yeah it just does so much to change the outlook of an important inning like this when you get the leadoff hitter so critical in setting the table when you got a tight game like this. So a strikeout really puts ah. them on their heels. Lau in the box again, takes a strike. This one in the air. Lewis has this one sized up and puts the squeeze on that one. And there's two away. Now batting the center fielder, Jose. Now up for Tampa Bay, Jose Siri, one for two. Right yep. through there for a strike. Into center. Under it. And that is that. Of the seven. Here's the catcher, Ryan Jeffers. The catcher. Littell back to work. Swings through that one for strike one. No ball. One strike. Out to short. Caballero. Now a jump throw. Not in time. An infield knock to start the inning. The effort was there with the jump throw. You gotta love it, but it just wasn't in time. Still a really impressive play just to get to that ball and make it close at first. And not every shortstop could even make that play. Swings and pulls it foul to the right side. Jeffers gets his lead at first with nobody out. Right side. Palacios under it. Makes the grab. And next for Minnesota, Max Kepler. 
Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. Right handed reliever. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. One run game, one out, one on. Foul ball still 0 and 2. In the air to left down the line. Gets under it. A Rosarena pulls that one down. Now batter. No center and field. now the center fielder. Inside just missed. Yeah, big swing and a miss. One ball. Left hand nice. hitter waits. That two. catches the top part of the zone. And the count one and two. Good Down eye low. in that spot. And that's awfully close. I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. Lined in the left center, base hit. Oh, the throw is wild. Well, they call that an advantage count for a reason. You're so much more likely to get something you can handle. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle, allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer. And he hit the ball on the screws. Two outs, and now two and nothing. Looking for some insurance. Or as our friends down in the South would say, insurance. No matter how you say it, we know what you mean. Two on, two outs. Foul ball, another 2-2 two -two upcoming. Out to center. Sizes this one up. Pulls it down, and he makes the catch. And that is the third out of the inning. Twin strand a pair. They lead it 2-1. Welcome back, and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Griffin Jacks. These are the spots relievers really make a name for themselves. Late and close. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. Stepping in for the Rays, Jose Caballero. Here comes a pitch. That oh. misses. 1-0. Oh. Activity ball. in the Yoga. bullpen. Yoan Duran up and throwing. Topa warming up as well. The 1-0. Oh. Base hit right field. And the tying run is on with a leadoff single. He needed that one. It's been a tough stretch at the plate lately. He really shot that one down the right field line and somehow found a way to keep it from slicing foul. One thing that was great about the approach is head was down all the way through the pitch, and that's how you do it. And now let's see if they force some action with good wheels on the bases. Pinto in the box now. Take strike one. Oh, one. This to center field, moving under this one. And there's one down. Here's the left fielder, Randy Orozarena. Randy Orozarena. If you're a base oh. runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get into scoring position. And he deals. This to third. Oh, great stop. To first. And that's a great play for the out. Third base would have to be so quick with their first step reactions. Hot shots like that. That's why they call it the hot corner. That's a perfect example, though. There's no way he gloves that one if he's not dialed in, anticipating something coming his way, staying on his toes every pitch. Really nice job to get back up, set himself, and make a strong throw across the diamond. 
Palacios. Uh -huh. In the box now. Take strike one. Trying to hold a one-run lead. And we're in the top of the eighth. Line drive. Base hit. Runner around third. He'll score, and the Rays tie the game. It's 2-2. Well, we're starting over again, all tied up. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. Two outs, runner on first. Next to hit, Harold Ramirez. That's in there, and that is strike one. With the go-ahead run at first, here in game one of this three-game set. Line drive. Drops into the glove, and that's the third out. But they pick up one run on the RBI single. 2-2 game. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Garrett Clevenger. Bringing in the lefty with the left-handed hitter coming up to hit. Classic bullpen move right here, so we'll see how it works out. And now, Alex Kirilov. Kirilov. That one misses, and it's 1 0. Oh, can't pick it up cleanly. And he's going to make it to first, and we'll see how they score. No outs, runner at first. So up next for Minnesota, Royce Lewis. Fastball for a strike, and it's 0-1. And, and there's a the ball. The pitch. He swings and hits a fly ball, center field. It falls in, and that's a knock. Rowe holds him at second, but the go-ahead run now in scoring position, and still nobody out. Back-to-back -back base hits. That can be a dangerous pitch if you don't get it inside enough, because as a hitter, you see it coming across the plate the whole way. No problem handling it and putting a good swing on it that time. And a huge opportunity now to grab the lead at this point in the game. At the belt and fires. Puts a bunt down. On the run, throw to first. Out, out on the sack bunt. Two on one out. Carlos Correa now at the plate. Golden opportunity right here. Missed inside with the curb. Here's a sack fly situation, and he's got to make sure he gets the ball out over the plate and get those arms extended. They're trying to crowd him with the infield in. It's be a big pickoff if he can push a run across. Right through there for a strike. With the go-ahead run at third, here in the bottom half of the eighth Four. inning. Pitch misses there. Three and one. And yeah, there's a breaking ball that drops in there. Three and one count. Saying to himself, I've got to get a fastball here. Just spins a get me over break. Got him. Huge strikeout there. Big strikeout right there. And that kind of takes the pressure off the defense a bit. Infield was in, so now they can move back, give themselves more time on a grounder to make a play. A lot more ways to work out of this and strand that runner at third now. Jeffers no, in the box, lays off for ball one. Second and third, two down. No, that's inside. That's He's got a base open, so the pressure to come in and really attack this hitter, not as great as it would be if the bags were sacked. Swing and a high fly ball down the left field line, but hooking foul. And he grounds one back up the middle. Base hit, one run is in. Another comes in to score, and they take a two-run lead. Such great concentration. Everybody on their feet, knowing that you can come through with a good swing. And there he doesn't try to do too much. So Two down, Matt Walmer will hit next. Ground ball right side, and he picks it up, and he'll put it in his pocket. Clevenger, 29 years old, and he's one of the few players in Major League Baseball born in Kansas.
Two outs. And there's a base hit into left. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. Back-to-back -back singles. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team at bat right there. Nice oh. job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. Kepler stands in with two away as he takes a ball. Wouldn't oh. chase that time. He's getting a little frustrated out there on the mound, getting hit around a little bit. Let's yeah. see if he can settle himself down. Number 89, next to bat for Minnesota. Left-hand batter waits. That's the ball. That one is inside hand. ball four. And I mean, oh, so close. That just came apart right field. there. Four-pitch walk, Good and the guy at the play was not going to help him out by swinging at something out of the zone. Number 89 in the box with two gone. And it takes a look at a called strike. Jeffers at third. Walner over at second. Kepler at first. Two out of the inning. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. Man, he'd like to have that pitch back. And he'll two. Kind of goes oh. without saying, but straight on these two runners in scoring position right here, it feels like it's a must if they stand a chance to win this game. Base hit, one run in already. Now a relay to the plate. Close play, but in there. And they're up by four. Nicely done. Brings home two. Pretty That's tough for the infielders to do anything with that one. He pulled it hard into the outfield. And even when we keep it on the ground, it feels... Now a new pitcher for the Rays, Colin Poche. Should be a good first matchup for him here. He's been doing a great job against right-handed bats so far this season. They've had a lot of trouble squaring him up. Now a chance for Willie Castro. That's a ball. And that one is in the one dirt. Ball. And that's no ball one. First and second, two down. In the air, out towards right center. No trouble here, puts it away for the out. That is the inning. Nine men come to the plate, four score. Ninth inning coming up. It's the twin six, the Rays two. And welcome back to the ballpark. And now the DH, Yandy Diaz. Jax back to work. Right through there for a strike. Some movement in the Twins' bullpen. Steven Okert appears to be getting loose. Peel bar getting loose as well. Ball. And that's downstairs and outside. Bounce to third. Tosses across out. the first. And a quick out number one. Now batting. Third baseman. And Isak. next will be the cleanup hitter. Paredes. Isak Paredes. 0 for 3. A fly out, a ground out, and a strikeout. Swing and a miss. One one. No this guy's got One's such right. a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. That one ripped left field. That's back. Back. Gone. He jacks that one out to left. It's 6-3. Chris, he's homered in back-to-back -back games now. Yep, seeing the ball well, and he's got his timing locked in. He's looking pretty dangerous at the dish right now. Man, he just barely got that one out of here, and you've got to love the effort and left to try and bring it back. He had a good shot at it, just couldn't quite pull it off. It would have been a stunner if he did. Yohan Duran gets the call from the pen. Well, walks have certainly been an issue for him this season, so we'll see what kind of command he has. Lau yeah. stands in now and watches strike one. The Rays trailing by three here at the top of the ninth. He swings and fouls one off. Righty delivers. 
Good job to fight that one off. Worm burner into the outfield for a knock. So a man aboard now with one away. Seems like he got exactly what he was looking for right there. We've all seen the defensive shift make a big difference in defending against pull hitters, but it's not foolproof. He pulled it as expected, but he found a hole that time. Siri oh, no. in the box with one away as he takes ball one. One run across in the frame so far here in game one of this three-game set. Ground ball left side could be two. Lewis over to second. Out. A double play to end it. A little sigh of relief for the pitcher there, ending the ball game with a nice double play. You always love when you can get two for one, especially when it wraps up the ball game. Nice win for this team today. 6-3 our final score for Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show. Thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chomby. Talk to you soon. The final line score for our ball game tonight for the big.